In this video, I'm going to be showing how to create both a personal and system dashboard. Now when you log into CRM, by default it will bring you to your dashboard page. So to create a new personal dashboard, on this page you're going to go and select New. From here you're going to select a layout. So I'm going to select the three column layout and I'm going to click Create. And this is where the designing begins. You can assign a name for the dashboard, and these are different components that will make up each section of the dashboard. So you have the options to create a chart, a list, use Relationship Assistant, which is new and I'll expand on later. You can use iFrame, and you can use a web resource. Once you create the dashboard, you can save and close. Now before we open the dashboard, let's take a look at how to create a system dashboard. So to do that, we're going to go to Settings, Customizations, and then Customize the System. Under Components, we're going to select Dashboards, then select New. Again, we are asked to select a layout, so I'm going to choose the same one as before, and I'm going to click Create. Now before I start adding components, the first thing I'm going to do is give a name to the dashboard. Then I'm going to add a chart for opportunities. So I'm going to change the record type to opportunity. I'm going to change the view to all opportunities. And I want the chart to display deals won versus deals lost by owner. Then I will select add. Next I'm going to create a list of activities using the record activities and the view of last activity. And then I'll select add. Over here, I'm going to enable Relationship Assistant. And lastly, I'm going to use the web resource to display the CRM Dynamics logo. It's important to note that you won't see most of these components until you publish the dashboard. And now that I'm happy with this dashboard, I'm going to save and close. And now that we're back on this page, we can see the new dashboard that I've created. So I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to publish the customizations. Once that's completed, I'm going to close this page and go to my sales dashboard. Now where it says sales activity dashboard, I'm going to use that dropdown to see my list of dashboards. So here we can see that it's divided system dashboards from my personal dashboard. So I'm going to go and click the dashboard I created. And now we can see all of the dashboard components, including activities, Relationship Assistant, and the logo. Now Relationship Assistant helps to monitor your daily tasks. So this right here is called your Action Card Carousel, and this consists of individual action cards, which you have the options to snooze, close, or complete by selecting the corresponding button. Also within this carousel, you have the option to provide feedback to Microsoft and manage your relationship preferences. And lastly, under what's new, there is an assistant column button which will display your action cards in a vertical view. And this concludes how to create both a system and personal dashboard.